Hey, lemon face, lion face, right. lemon face, lion face. <laughs> a little happier than I was this morning. Yeah, well, right. you got a cameraman now. That's Everything's right. gonna be great. That's right. Alrighty, welcome to Pinball Mayhem. My name's Jeremy. Today we're going to be digging in a little deeper on Star Wars Episode One. We're going to dig into the PC. That's right, not politically correct. It has a PC up in the back box here. We're going to take a look at it, see what makes it tick, do a little preventive maintenance, so it should last a long time. Thank you. We're good. And you're rolling, right? Oh, always. <laughs> How am I supposed to get the magic if I don't? That's right. Okay. Right now, we're gonna dig into it. The computer's behind here. Here's the computer. Here are the cutters. Let's cut these ties. Come on. Right. Pull off a couple connectors on the side here. Okay, got a spinning nut. Being stubborn. Power connector in the back. And there is our baby computer. We're gonna change out the fan, put some new heat sick material in, and hopefully it'll be good to go. Okay. This is the computer for the Pinball 2000 system. Notice how this does not contain a hard drive. It is all on this card or set of cards here with proprietary memory chips it's called the prism card can be very expensive when it breaks what we're going to do is we're going to pull off the fan pull off the heat sink clean it all put it all back together It's a little rough. Alrighty, to release this guy. Right. Okay, and we will pause the camera while we clean off the chip. Okay, we've got the heat sink off. From the factory it came with this thermal pad. Not the most effective way to do it. What I've got, I've had this for a while. This is thermal paste. Best way to do it. We will be coating the complete underside of this with some thermal paste. Put it on there. Reassemble everything. I don't have the uh, replacement fan for this yet. So we put a little bit of lubrication in here. Seems to work really good. Okay. Let's get that out of here. Sure, we get an even layer. Got some alcohol here. Be sure you wash your hands before you eat. Still got some on my finger. But we'll 
Set this on. Note that this is a Citrix chip. They are long out of business, so one of the reasons we're doing this is just keep it lasting longer. You will plug in the fan. And we're good to go for this bit. Next up will be the power supply. Here is the rather dirty power supply. We'll take a look, clean it up, do the best that we can. Oh my, quite a bit of dirt, dust, and possibly a little leakage by the camps. Okay, we took her out to the garage, used the big air compressor, got everything blown off. Turns out that's actually a sealer, not leakage. And we're ready to put it back together, reassemble everything, and try it out. We got uh, everything back together. We now have four screws in. There was only one when we took it out. Um, there is normally a cover on this that was absent, but uh, it's running and we're going to leave it like that. We'll put her back in place now. Okay, let's get the connections back to where they were, hopefully. This one goes, uh, that's a forward one. Tighten both screws. Connectors can only go in one spot, which is nice. up the speaker connector here. And we'll power the game on. Fan's certainly a lot quieter than it was before. to see what's up with it. Try that. I know what's up. We didn't hook up the power power cord on the back of the computer. Okay. What is that screeching? That is the fluorescent bulb. Having a dish. Yep. All right. So carefully reach in the top. Grab the power cord here. Back here somewhere. Close on here somewhere. Watch your hands when you're uh, around the monitor. Some high voltage there, even if the power's off. Okay. Oh, that sounds much better. Hear the fans coming on. All right, got an image coming up. The monitor does need to be recapped. Wait for the testing to go off. 
We are good.